I was also working on something else and getting help on how to figure things out. So yes, you do have MIUI 12.5 stable version and this is Xiaomi EU port from the Xiaomi Mi 8 working like a boss on the Poco F1 now. Before we get down to the features what is available, I would of course like to thank Adil for helping me out because he just told me what to do and I did it. And don't give any credits to me please, all credits for this port go to Adil anyways. So yes, this is the Xiaomi EU port from the Mi 8. Do note this is 12.5.1 stable. Let us go into all specs. Security patch is from December 2020 and feel free to blame Xiaomi for that because that is something which I cannot control anyways so let us go into wallpaper and personalization and as you can see you do have the new UI over here and this here is AOD do note that this is a port from Mi 8 and AOD option is there but it is not going to work removing it is a pain which is why i didn't remove it go into wallpaper you do get the option of downloading your super wallpapers in fact one of the wallpapers is baked into the rom itself now while we're talking about the rom do note that this is a permissive build because again do not have the time to figure out the se policy changes and safety net is not going to pass out of the box you will have to root your device and enable magisk hide and then you can also hide magis from the play store and other play services clear their data and you should be able to use your banking apps next up if you go into always on display and lock screen again as i mentioned aod option is there because this is a port from the mi 8 it's not going to work the toggle is there but we have removed the apk so these two options are right now useless everything else seems to be working fine without any issues you do have glance different lock screen clock formats are present you can change your charging animations as well so a bunch of different options in fact three new options for that go into display you can of course schedule your dark mode change the color theme so yeah changing the color scheme as you can see works without any issues you can of course change your font size and stuff all those options are also working without any issues and you also have full screen mode available and i think you also have the option of hiding the notch somewhere over here let's see if i can find it i think that is in the control center options i am having a blonde moment right now next up sound and vibration again you do get the new ui the tile style ui and if you scroll down you do have a bunch of different options like profile video for incoming calls additional settings you have different toggles so yes you do get the miui 12.5 boot audio on this build go into notification and control center and then you can choose your control center style as well configure your status bar here it is you do have the option of hiding the notch and as you can see works without any issues hide and move the status bar again this also works without any issues as well now previously the corners were rounded so i'm not sure what's going on over here and why the corners are not rounded but consider that a bug on this build for now then we can also try going into say home screen so yes you do get miui launcher with proper animations so here it is settings icon is animated open the gallery application bam the gallery icon is also animated so yes you do get the new miui launcher and you also have the option of changing your minus one screen to say the google feed in case you want to do that then if you go into password and security yes you do have ir face unlock fingerprint screen lock all those options working without any issues go into privacy you do get the new style of privacy so again awareness protection this is your new miui china style wherein if something is accessing your camera or mic you will get a notification then if you go into battery you do have battery saver you also get a battery graph as well somewhere i think tap over here no here here is the battery graph at the bottom so yes all those features are present go into additional settings you can of course change your region as well in case you want to screen time again you get the new screen time dashboard focus mode all those features working without any issues then if you go into your special features you do have game turbo video toolbox floating windows yes floating windows are present here it is 
floating window in the building let us try out say gallery application in floating window there it is you can see working without any issues let us try tapping on got it and yes i am having some difficulties trying to figure out floating windows but it works without any issues then you also get the new gallery applications so of photos albums recommended video editor all the fancy stuff go into settings select best photo memories and you can also use your secure sharing wherein you can share your photographs without information about the location and without the metadata as well open the file manager application again bam here it is the new file manager application in the building working without any issues other than that camera works fine you can take your portraits rear camera everything is working without any issues you do have the google play store and google applications baked in so no issues with respect to that as well and Facebook is installed but you can always uninstall it in case you want to I think I forgot to delete the APK so yeah you do have some bloatware but all of this can be uninstalled without any issues as you can see we right now uninstalled three different applications now is this port perfect I don't think so this is my first try and I did want to you know a lot of peeps have been asking me about making a video about 12.5 for the poco f1 and unfortunately this is based on android 10 for now but something is better than nothing and we are using adil's genos kernel because he did help me out in figuring out all the things but other than that once you set up your play store and then you set up your account your keyword of the assistant lady works with the screen turned on and with the screen turned off as well and before i forget the power menu is still the old one and the volume panel of course you do get the new volume panel now do note that this is a port from eu and eu ported it from the china built for me 8 the 12.5 stable so if the power menu is old you can of course blame xiaomi for it you do have your data usage in the control center but another bug is that the brightness slider goes all the way down so here it is if i swipe down it goes down and i also cannot like swipe across the control center to access my notifications so those are some of the limitations which are still present on this build now of course if you want to test out the build i have left the instructions in the pinned comment on the video so feel free to test it out and installation instructions are also mentioned again if a lot of people use it a lot of people ask for an installation video we can make an installation video but right now consider this to be a preview and something from my side to all of you wanting me UI 12.5 of course would not have been possible without help from Adil and there it is peeps that will do it for this one hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you